abdominals today and what it means to have a rectus abdominis dominant pattern. Now your rectus abdominis muscle is the six pack muscle that runs up and down the front. So when we think about an imbalance happening in the abdominal muscles, we often think about this rectus becoming dominant. Now a rectus dominant pattern is when the rectus muscle sticks out. So you'll have more of that bread loaf appearance and I'll demonstrate in a second. But what I want you to understand about that is that the abdominals help to balance and kind of encase each other uh, to help that rectus pattern not happen. So when we think about the abdominals, we have our transverse abdominals, that are lateral, lateral abdominals that wrap around our sides. Okay, they come in like this and they attach into fascia in the back and fascia in the front, in the sides, right beside our rectus abdominis muscle. Now, these TAs go down underneath our rectus. Okay, then we have our internal obliques that are right on top of our transverse abdominal muscles and those guys run this way. So if you were to kind of take your hands and put it in an opposite pocket, you would get your internal obliques. Now these also run on the sides, they're lateral abdominal muscles. They split, half of the muscle fascia goes underneath, joining with the TAs and half goes on top. So you get a nice sandwiching of that rectus muscle. Your external obliques, are above the rectus muscle, and they sit here. They are also lateral abdominal muscles, so they wrap around your sides, and they come down like you would put your hands in your pockets. Now, these muscles run on top of the rectus. So our lateral abdominal muscles help to encase our rectus muscle up the front. Now, what happens if we end up with a very rectus abdominal pattern, and that usually has more of a bread loaf appearance. Okay, so if I can give you a rectus dominant pattern here, if somebody were to pick up their legs and pick up their head, there we go, and let their TAs go, you would see, there we go, you see a popping up, do you see how my rectus muscle pops up and is relatively high compared to my abdominal wall? So you get this doming or this bread lift, and this is that six pack muscle that runs up the front. Now, a non-rectus dominant pattern, where you have balance between your lateral abdominals and your rectus, when you go to load, you would keep a more flat appearance. So it would sandwich that rectus. So you still have that strong rectus, helping to keep your spine from moving when you pick up your legs or you pick up your head, but it wouldn't be all rectus. You would have those lateral abdominals joining in to help sandwich the rectus, unlike a rectus that when you go to do a crunch or leg lifts, pops up into a rectus dominant pattern. Now, why does that happen? Why do we go to do leg lifts and crunches and planks, front planks? Check your front plank the next time you do it. You might be surprised at what you find. What I find is that the exercise is just a little bit too hard. And so someone's going to overload and they don't have the strength in their lateral abdominal muscles to encase the rectus enough. So it's just like, get yeah, free for all rectus is popping up. There's not enough encasing and supporting going on from lateral abdominals. Okay, so your challenge today is to check yourself, so load your abs and see what happens. Now we think about supporting the pelvic floor and we think about abdominal health, our TAs and our internal obliques work a little bit more with that pelvic floor for helping that joining for that support. And so sometimes if you have more of that rectus dominant pattern, you may have uh, more of a tendency toward increased pressure problems as well. All right, so check yourself for that rectus dominant pattern and let's see uh, how those lateral abdominals are joining in to help specifically those TAs and internal obliques, those deeper abdominal system. So can you pick up your legs and with keeping your abdominal wall flat or does your rectus pop up?